Welcome back. So I'm down to the last minor jobs now. So this was that uh, other seatbelt bracket there um, on the inertia reel belt. So I decided to cut that one off. So it's prepared there. Um, if Justin decides to use that one instead of the one I've sort of hard pointed to the back. And I already did the one on the other side. And you know, as you can see, I sort of threaded the belt through there and then just put one aluminum buckle on there to, to tie the two your shoulder straps together. All right, so now on to um, doing weight and balance with empty fuel. So decided to drain all the fuel out. And I had I knew I had about 21 gallons on board. And so I got four of these containers, two that I already had and two new ones that I picked up. And I figured it wouldn't take too long to do this because I what I did was I pulled out the, uh, the little sump drain there out of its little fixture. Uh, so, you know, the fuel could just drain right out of the bottom of the header tank. And started doing that and uh, yeah it didn't take too long to do the first bit of the header tank and of course I measured how much came out of the header tank because I turned off the valves from the uh, straight tanks and just drained just the header initially and there was um, exactly well I'd say exactly it was um, two of those containers so they're five gallon but I think I overfilled them a little bit and uh, as you can see here got the scale set up and just waiting for the rest of the fuel now to drain out and um, had I known how long it was going to take I probably would have hooked up a nice little setup on my fuel pump and just pumped it into the containers but that thing puts out 70 psi and I was the only one there and I didn't want to be um, spraying fuel all over the place if it got out of hand and you know because I was just going to put the hose into one of the containers and I didn't, didn't think that was a very good option and uh, anyway I needed to change out this drain valve as well because it was leaking a little bit and as you can see there look it's just in such equilibrium there it doesn't even look real <laughs> unless you bump the aircraft there as you see um so yeah i got all the fuel drain out you can see i put a little nipple in there as well uh, just so it would drain cleanly because after the sump tank drained out the first time some of it ran then along the bottom of the um of the fuselage so i put that little nipple in there to stop that from happening and then uh, just waited for the rest of the fuel to be drained out. And as you can see here, just as a uh, interest, I've weighed, this is um, half a gallon, so that's three pounds, nine and a half ounces. And then I also weighed um, one of those buckets um, empty, and that was three ounces, as you can see. So half a gallon is three pounds, six and a half ounces. So one gallon is six pounds and 13 ounces so i'm going to actually measure exactly how much fuel i put in by weight um, when i um, fill the tanks up again fill the strakes up with the fuel that i've got in the containers and that way i'll have a really good um, number of how much fuel i've got in the strake tanks at any given time so uh, a little bit of a uh, messing around here trying to get the uh, aircraft up on the scales as you'll see it takes just the right amount of uh, motion forward before the wheels will come up on the scale and then of course you've got to hit the brakes on the on the tow rig uh, so it doesn't sort of overshoot and go off the other end um, and I hadn't done this in a while so it, it took me uh, uh, several tries just to get it <laughs> to go up on there and what I'm doing here is just getting the scale in the right place there and I actually initially tried, you know, using a little bit of uh, steel as a kind of like a little ramp up onto the scale, but that really didn't work so well. It didn't really help. So I ended up pulling that out of the way and then uh, just coming with a little bit more speed uh, to get up on the scale. And then unfortunately, I put the scale read out there right where the camera could see it, <laughs> but you can't see it. So anyway, you'll see it at the end once it's up on the scales. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, I uh, hook up the the tow rig uh, to the nose wheel and then uh, fire that rig up and then had many attempts to get it up onto the scales. And I guess I could have just overshot it, but as you see here, just keep bouncing it and just not, not putting enough uh, energy in to get it up on the scales each time making sure everything's nicely lined up there and you see it's just a matter of I'm not not winning failing <laughs> so after a bunch of tries I took the little metal things out there and just put some more effort in there and got it up on there 
and then of course the nose wheel I just left up by putting my weight bags on the tow rig and then drop that on the scale so and then of course disconnect the tow rig because that would give me a, a false reading on the nose and this is what I have so 31.85 is the empty weight and that's with the 100 pounds of ballast still in the nose um, but that's with you know no fuel on board at all so 354 on the nose wheel 1403 and 1428 that's about right so I'll put the fuel back in and um, that's the update for this week and there'll probably be one more update there next week before the test pilots show up so thanks again for watching and tune in again next week